Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Unbound and today we are going to discuss another problem that came as a three mark recursion for Math Country 2024, grade 7 and 8. And if you are liking this series and the tutorials, let us know more suggestions and in what all areas maybe some past problems where you are feeling difficulties in solving any problem. So you can let us know via community or the comment section. All right, so let's get started with today's video and the question which we have today is pretty interesting. Julia cuts off the four vertices of a regular tetrahedron as shown. How many vertices does the shape that remains have? Okay, so firstly we have to cut all four vertices of this tetrahedron and then we have to kind of count the number of vertices which it is going to have. To make it more simple, and to make you understand it better, let's zoom in and let's see the single vertex. Okay. Now what Julia is doing? Julia is cutting the vertex from the top. Like this. Correct? So if we are cutting the vertex from the top, we are going to left with one, two, and three vertices. Right? Because the top one, the fourth one, we have already cut down, right? We will not count that. So we will be having only one, two, and the third. So if we are having three vertices over this, the top side, after we have cut it, the vertex, right? So if the, here we are having three vertices, here also we will have three. Here also we are going to have 3 and here as well we are going to have 3. So basically 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 or we can simply do 3 times 4 which is 12, right? So after Julia cuts off all 4 vertices from the tetrahedron, she will be left with 12 vertices. That means our correct answer is option D. Now if we see more clear picture of this. This is how the tetrahedron will look like. Now in this figure, if you are going to see only one, two and the third vertex is remaining. All right. So three at the top. Again, three will be here. Three will be here and three will be here. So three times four, which is going to be 12. Make sense? So that's it. That was the answer. We got our correct answer. That is D. Option D. So that is it for today's video and I'm going to see you soon in another video with another interesting question. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.